The descendants of slaves and slave owners met today at the Roseville Plantation near Florence. This is the 250th anniversary of the plantation's construction. News 13's Jack Billu met relatives learning today about their history. Years ago, this home was surrounded by fields of cotton worked by more than 100 slaves. Three women came together today to talk about the history of the plantation and their ancestors who worked here, both free and enslaved. My dad came out here in 1986, and the day he saw it was the day he bought it. Scott Tucker now lives at the Roseville Plantation, named for these Confederate roses that grow on the property. The plantation was owned by the Bacote family leading up to the Civil War. My mother, she never talked about, um, well, she did know of uh, her grandfather, but she, I don't think she met him. Vivian Guyton didn't start researching her family until she was 50 years old and saw a statue with her mother's maiden name on it, Bacote. My stepmother, who was sitting in the passenger seat, uh, said, that person is in your family. She did some research and found out her great-grandmother, Minerva Cato Brockington, was a slave here until she was freed during the Civil War. She later married Washington Murphy Bacote. I became very curious about this, and um, so Scott helped me a lot. Tucker brought Guyton together with the rest of the Bacote's descendants. It's just been a pleasure. It's like I've been have met my other side of the family. She says learning about their shared history and visiting the plantation has helped her get in touch with their past. I guess it's, it's difficult to explain in words. It seemed like the spirit of something is, is there. Jack Billiou, News 13.